on this Wednesday afternoon, we're going to warm up into those low to mid 80s, which is a big difference from those mid 90s we were in yesterday. And then feeling like the triple digits, it's going to be quite different today. Now the clouds are going to be more present, but like we've been saying, it's more of a transitional day. So we've got to kind of be patient through today, but overall, I think we're just going to enjoy how it feels outdoors. The only real challenge that we're going to have to deal with this morning is maybe some of that light rain, light drizzle. Now, as we head into tonight, we should see partly cloudy skies. I do think we'll see more clearing through the day, especially on the back end. Temperatures are going to fall back down into the low um, mid to upper 60s across most locations. So it's going to be a slow drop with our morning temperatures. But by the weekend, we could be looking at overnight temperatures in the 50s. So we're going to get a little taste of fall by the weekend. But until then, we're going to stay pretty steady in the low to mid 80s, well below average for this time of year. But I know a lot of us are going to enjoy this weather because we don't always get this lucky, uh, especially for the first part of the school year. 85 tomorrow, we're looking at warm and sunny conditions. It is gonna be a nice day for us. And then heading into your Friday, we'll keep it pretty comfortable right around those low to mid 80s. And we're continuously seeing more sunshine. Saturday and Sunday, we've got temperatures that are going to be in the upper 70s, lower 80s, but starting out in the 50s. So that is going to be nice and cool, especially if you like that type of weather. It's going to be a good time to enjoy it. And then by the time we reach Monday and Tuesday, rain chances are limited, but we start to see some signs of rainfall, which by that time we could use some rainfall because you remember last week we were very soggy after seeing several days of rainfall. And then we've kind of gotten in this dry period. And I do think by the time we reach next week, we'll start to see those rain chances uh, occur here in the tri-state. Guys?